Welcome back to Bounty by Ada's channel. I uploaded a video early. Guys, I tried probably falling apart. <clears throat> um, how do I say this? A lot of people are so involved in one same thing, okay? So I loaded up a mini video of some pictures, right? Which I learned through the prepping channels, okay? And I put it out there with a the title to see if somebody's eyes will open up. To see if you will look around, even if you're not a round lifer or you're just a viewer. Thank you for coming over to the channel. I truly appreciate every single one of you and all your comments and whatnot. But a lot of people are involved. Oh, hold on, my daughter's calling. Hold on, guys. Give me one second. Okay, guys. I'm sorry about that. My daughter calling. She's doing her runarounds today. <clears throat> She's off today. Um. My channel is a little bit about everything, and I'm glad it is. I'm glad it is, and not just van life. It's on my about. So, many don't pay attention what's going on around them. Um, they're stuck into, they're so stuck into their cameras and their phones and YouTube, okay? that they don't see nothing else okay they don't see nothing else uh, and it's a good thing you know because that's what they do you ban life you do you know um okay but i mean i'm not i i, I can't tell no one what to do that's number one that's your channels. If you're a van lifer or not, because I have subscribers that are not van lifers. Okay, just to clear that one out. I have subscribers that are not van lifers. They just like, and they like to listen to some of the things that I say or do. And because I'm involved with other channels that has nothing to do with van lifers, because I like variety, and my channel is a community-friendly channel. I am not locked to one circle, okay? I've been seeing that a lot with van lifers. Locked in a circle. It's always the same circle. So I, I have, I'm involved with other stuff that I can always take a little break and go over. Not take a little break. It had to be over, okay? And, um, and I learned a lot of things and a lot of things I knew. And I share content that may not be involved with van life, but if you really look at it, yes, it does benefit a van life or stranded or in a situation. So... Many don't want to hear the word about situation. Or they just, oh, please, man, you know, don't watch that shit. Okay? Don't watch that shit. Okay. So you don't watch um, certain important news? You don't uh, care? Why? If you're in the West Coast, you don't give a shit what happens in the East Side if it got bombed out or what the heck. Okay? If you're on the East Coast, you don't give a shit. Okay? <clears throat> about... What happens in the middle west or the west or whatever? You don't give a shit because it's not, you're not seeing anything. You're not surrounded by any situations. So you, you just continue on with your day and your videos and whatnot. I say do more. Do more. Um... For example, 
I'm involved with a community friendly. Oh, the heck is calling me now? A scam. I'm sorry. Um, I'm involved with a lot of beautiful, nice persons all around the U.S. So when shit happens on that side, even if I never knew them, I worry about that side. I said, no, I didn't say it. But I touched bases this morning, and I bet all the van lifers out there, shout out to all of yeah, okay, van lifers. There is one of my subscribers that came from another channel and is got involved with others from my channel whether you found me or whether you came from other channels or you watch the other channels and you're a viewer and you also watch my channel and her name is uh, Grandma for Kids Ruth Okay, so we'll talk about her in a minute. So write her name down, look her up. I like involvement. If I don't see involvement, I, I leave it. I leave you alone. I leave you alone because when you open a channel, it's like having a pet. You are committed to taking care. So when you open a channel, you are committed to the persons that come to your channel. Because without them, it wouldn't be a you or me. Okay? So many don't see it like that. That's why I'm very observative. If you say I'm very observative, yes, I am. I am very careful. I watch. I listen. I'll sit back and see where you're coming from, what you're doing. And I can see, I already, you know, I can see a lot already. But I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about situations. So I gave some photos up there that many people do not even have three of those items. Don't think about getting them either. All stuck into making videos, okay, and getting paid. Okay, I don't get paid, and I don't care if I never get paid. I have fun with my channel, that's what I do when I'm able to, and I have fun watching y'all. So, we don't think about a lot of things, many don't think about. others but yet they are good to get on camera and say i care for other people i help other people i like helping other people why well, never seen shit you doing for other people okay and it's sad it's very sad they don't mention anything about i mean the I, you know what, I just, sometimes I just don't understand, guys. I don't know if y'all understand me or not. I, sometimes I just don't understand other people. <clears throat> what they say. Because when they say one line, they come up with a second line down the line. And then another time, they're going to come up with a third line and fall into their own lies. Where they don't even know where the lie is at or where it started or where is it. So I observe. I listen. I watch. So... Look at what happened in Ohio, <clears throat> okay? So what happened in Ohio? If you didn't know, search it up, look it up. What happened in Ohio? Well, thank God to the preppy community that I belong to and other communities of news channels that are very thorough. They are veterans, very thorough. Not too many of them. I have my preferred, okay? Not too many, but a lot of preppers, but very limited onto the news because a lot of them they're just scaring the fuck out of everybody and that's the specialty okay you know tomorrow shit's gonna close tomorrow so people that don't know and they scare and they take advantage of the elderly because they do have elderly viewers they run out there to get shit 
okay? They're good for that shit. So I watch out for some titles. And I'll unsubscribe because it's just annoying. And I've been, and they still come across. And they're right here from New Jersey, guys. If anything was going to fucking close up here in New Jersey, guys, you, I, you would hear it from me. I even went to the stores that were mentioned down here. I ain't say nothing. I'm going to say it now. Everything is there. There's nothing you cannot find. Okay. But yet, oh my goodness, it's empty. The shelves, the this, the that, the bullshit, the, you know, fucking up people's head. They're good for that shit. Well, people that live in other states would be like, oh shit, out here in New Jersey, holy crap, oh shit. None of that mess is happening. There is uh, some gaps here and there, but you know, people shop. People shop. Of course, there have to be some shelves missing where maybe three, five, ten cans here and another one down on the other aisle because people are shopping. What do you expect? People go into the store to get stuff. So I watched them chat. What the? Lord have mercy. But let's look at Ohio. And everything else before that. And because it didn't happen next to you. Fuck it. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm from Brooklyn, guys. I'll speak my mind out. When I have to. Fuck it. I ain't over here. What the fuck do I care? No, I do care. Because maybe one of my viewers or something from down there. Well, you can't say, well, that don't happen around where I live at. Well, how do you know it's not going to happen where you live at? How do you know nothing that has happened or might happen will not affect your area? So, we got Ohio, okay, lit up, all right? And who is in Ohio? Who is in Ohio? I bet you y'all be thinking like, I don't know. Which one of y'all subscribers is in Ohio? If y'all have her. Y'all don't know? Well, I do know. I know where my, my people's are from. Okay? She's from Cincinnati, Ohio. But that's the other side of Ohio. But still, the air, okay, moving, it, it's, it's, it's still, okay? It's still there. It's Ohio. Well, I did a wellness check. Okay, I did a wellness check, and damn it, when she comments, and she went on to other channels that I um, started watching, and she, you know, as you see comments on your channel, um, they tend to go find that person, and it just gets big and then some, the, at one point and I'm watching that shit it becomes just one circle one circle I felt you know I, I listen I mm, I will break that circle in a half second okay I am not that type of person I want everyone on board on board everyone on board my shit my four wheels or my prepping okay or my items when I unbox ideas when I give them how to turn a fire on how to could have heat if you don't have heat sometimes well some of the summertime is coming you know I got that response one day summertime is coming oh yeah what about next winter what about next winter okay that's it that's a sick, guys. So who is in Ohio that many van lifers that follow my channel have not done a wellness check yet? Grandma for kids rules. Okay. Now. You saw the video here. Bows and arrows, right? Well, I made a phone call, okay? It's illegal. I was supposed to call the cops, but I didn't. I was in so much shock, I left. Okay, it's illegal. 
So now I know. I didn't know. I just asked the right person. Oh shit. I just leave them. What is that motherfucker gonna come out here hunting for? Good question. There's only people around here and kids. There ain't no wooded area. Nothing but the train tracks. And they got cameras back there. So why was he kind of hot? Walking? Just, you saw the video? If you saw the, the, the previous video, or the previous one. Well, who the hell would thought that Manny Manny would have somebody? I would, boy, I was shocked my damn self. I was so shocked that I couldn't get the guy, you know, from when I saw him down the street. I could have caught his face and everything, but my cameras did. My camera, he's, his face is on my cameras. Okay? And many cameras up and down the street. But I just I saw it, but I was in shock. So what happens when you run into a situation and shock kicks in? Okay, tense kicks in. Like, can't believe what you're seeing. But you're seeing it. What do you do? Oh, it's not happening. Ain't nobody around that you live with, pass by with bows and arrows. Well, guess what? Today, you know, I live in a quiet area. Nothing ever happens around here. I, I sometimes I do say, you know, just tell me if I'm right or wrong, because I don't fucking lie on my channel. Um, I've said many times, this is a quiet area. I don't see nobody. Even in the summer, spring, winter, whatnot, whatever, nothing happens around here. Well, we got the man with the arrow. I, I just happened to open the door to get some, some air today because it was nice, okay? And I wasn't looking, I wasn't paying attention to no cameras or no shit. I was watching the movie. So I dropped the movie and I opened my door just to enjoy the sun because this apartment is kind of dark. You know, the, the brightness does never, it never come. Even if I take the curtains all out, it's not going to happen. So guys, when I open that door, I see like five cop cars out there. What the fuck is going on out here? Guys? You can't say it's not going to happen by me. Whatever situation, any situation, guys, any, the minimalist situation you may think about. We can't say it is, it, it don't happen in my life. Because anything can happen. Okay, that never did before. So five cop cars, then some more came up. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm out now. I'm out there. Then my. This kid that lived in my house on and off till he got married, had kids, and you know, he still comes around. He thinks I'm his mother. I am not his fucking mother. And he got a big ass mouth. Let me see if I can shoot down the video and give you a little, just a little clip, okay? Maybe in another video. Because I don't lie to y'all. That's one thing I don't do. I cannot sit behind a camera and lie to people. That's not me. That I'd rather not make no video. If you don't see my face, um, I have nothing to give you, nothing to offer you guys. It's not because Ada is, you know, no, it's because I have nothing to offer you. I'm not going to sit here and make believe or go in my van and make believe and, and make stories that aren't even true, okay? No, I'm not going to do that. So, guys, what the heck was going on out there? But that was my big question. Then here comes... This kid thinks I'm his mama for many years. Grown as a motherfucker. I think I seen him on camera at one time. What do you got, big ass mouth? Shut the fuck up, man. You wake up all, you know, the dead. You wake up the dead with your mouth. I got his own shut the fuck up. So, he got his big mouth from the time. I saw him from far. He was, oh, Lord, he's parking over here. Oh, shh. Yeah, he called me Vieja. Vieja's old lady. Um... In Puerto Rican, okay, or Spanish, whatever. So, yeah, the word old lady it means like my mom. Okay, that's my mom. So my old lady, okay. It's it's not that you're old or not like that. That's what they refer to as your mom. Also, I, you know, you you hear the word sometimes if if he ever comes on. Yeah, okay. So banging on my doors, knocking my doors down, and oh lord, that person is a disaster. But he's a lot of fun. He checks he checks up on me. He he been blowing up my phone. I just ain't got time. Okay, I just. 
So he will bang that door down if he has to. So guess what, guys? Five cop cars, then some more coming. I'm like, he's coming at the same time with his big mouth. Yeah. I said, oh, shit. Okay. And bendición, because bendición is like, you know, blessing. So I have bro I bless you, you know. You ever heard that? You have been around Spanish people and somebody say bendición? And a person will say, Dios te bendiga, te cuide. Well, yeah. So he'll holler at you from along, from, a, from, from far. You know, bendición. Like, bless me, mama, bless me. I want to beat his ass is what I want to do. But he, he'll blow my phone up or he'll show up, okay? Eventually he will show up to see my face. Just to know that Ada is okay, okay? Vieja is okay. <laughs> and then he'll come over here and make me laugh. No, and I can't freaking laugh with him. He's funny as fuck. Anything comes out of his mouth, he's a true clown. He'll cook. He'll clean. He lived in my house on and off for months since my kids were little. My younger ones were, were, were younger. You know, so he got married and had kids and, and got the heck up out of my house. But he still comes back. But he keeps a place. He keeps a place. He pays for his place. So, anyway. So, he trying to get in. I said, well, I'm trying to get out. What the fuck? Get out of the way. What's going on? So, we sit outside. What the hell's going on? I thought, they, I thought they were leaving. He told me he thought they were leaving because they were all moving around in different directions. Oh, no. They they were coming. I was saying, no. The, the other one just got here. Just that one just got here. Hold up. So, he thought that they were leaving. All those cop cars were leaving. No, they were coming more. So it was, it's the house on the corner right here, guys. The house on the corner right here that the lady in the summertime, she climbed up like Spider Woman. Remember that video in the summertime? I was sitting outside and I made a video about Spider Woman. She left her keys and she told me, oh, you know, I mean, I, I know her. Um, we don't talk like that, but, you know. And um, she climbs up like Spider Man when she leaves the door unlocked. So. The boy that's there, he's um, uh, LGBTQ, okay, he's gay. You don't say gay, right? You say LGBTQ? I oh, don't know, somebody correct me. I have them all in my family, so I got gays, lesbian, trans, that's like, I got everything. I have a mixed family of, of uh, Spanish, American, white, black, uh, Muslim, you name it, okay? Yeah, all in my family. I have a mixed, I call it international. I have an international family. That's why I, I, I say, yeah, whenever, I, you know, they were around. But i not ashamed either, just so you know, okay? Not ashamed to say that. I am not ashamed of my family. And I don't care who jumps onto a guy named Ada's channel. I do not keep a circle. So, I'm trying to find out what's going on. So the cop comes over here, two of them, because they see me outside. And I said, can I help you? You know, what's going on? So he said that the kid um, from next door cannot be found. What? Are you are you kidding me? No, we're here to check up. I said, bro, well, yeah, you could just crawl, crawl up to you like a spider, like a spider man, because the lady from there, where? I said, well, did you try the side door? Did you try the back door? Oh, no, we saw the, the first floor is the couple that that rent that home. But upstairs is rented. They rented upstairs and then they added. So the second floor is where this kid lives, okay? Not, he's in maybe 25, 28, 30, something like that. I know him for many years since he was young, okay? And when he said his name, I said, what? What happened to him? Oh, he's been missing. Missing? I said, what? So my heart was pumping guys out there because I I run into these kids all the time. They live in the corner. There's like a couple. In the summertime, they'll come dressed as a woman, okay, and fly all down the street. And I, I just, I get along with them. They say, mommy, hey, mommy. You know, they call me mommy. So I know because I sit out there and I see them sometimes. They don't hang in the corner. They do not hang in front of that house. But if they're going out, um, there's a 
four or five of them, you know, ones will come together, they actually go wherever. So if I happen to be out there, you know, hey, mommy, you know, whatever. And um, one of them was missing. So I'm getting desperate, like, why don't they climb up like Spider-Mans and Spider-Womans that are woman cups out there too? What are they waiting for? I said, you know, sometimes I even told a cop, you know, this Billy Elizabeth, she, she comes through here and climbs up there like a spider. So, you, you know, why don't you try doing that? So they didn't do nothing. They stood out there just looking and going through their walkie-talkies and walking back and forth. And my heart was over here pumping. Like, I wanted to climb up in there. And even um, this kid that came to see me, he said, yeah, I'll get up there. I said, shut the Will you shut the hell up with that big mouth you got? But, you know, you, they can't because they have authorization to wait for. You know, I don't know how the heck the, they, they, they work. I, I have no idea. What is the chain of command in the cops? That I do not know. I don't have no cops in my house. Okay, no, it's more than that. I don't have no cops in my house. <clears throat> so, I don't know what the chain of command is in a situation like that. And I need to go into a home because he was reported missing. And they don't know if he's up there or not. Nobody's in that apartment. And he hasn't been there in two days. So, guys, one and a half hour later, I see the kid. Guys, I took a deep breath. Oh, Lord Jesus, you know, that, my, the voice was going through my head. Now, how can anyone say, oh, I, not, you know, like I always say, this is a quiet area. Nothing happens around here. But look at this shit that's been happening. You understand what I'm saying, guys? Well, thank God he's okay. It's just that he had a disagreement with somebody and he just took off with somebody and he's staying in somebody's house. He's not answering his phone and whatnot and whatnot. And there's nobody in the apartment. Um, they're not staying in there either. Only the, I think it was the mom. Because she came. Yeah, she lives there. She took the dog out and brought her back in and then she went back to work. I guess they called her. So he showed up, okay, from blowing his phone up. They call the cops, and I guess somebody called him. The cops are here, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You, they answer, but this and whatever, whatnot. So he showed up in this other car with this chick, a friend. And after a bit, I went over there. Nigga, next time give the sisters, you know, some notice. Because we all over here worrying about your ass. Okay? He's an American kid. But that's how we we communicate, okay? That's that's the the, the confidence I give the kids. You know, call me a nigger. I don't care. I call my kids niggers, okay? Uh, yeah. So it's just a phrase. It's just a saying. But you gotta you gotta know who you wanna say it to. That's one thing, okay? So I'm from Brooklyn, so I know how to roll with that. Uh, if you don't have a buddy buddy, okay, buddy buddies, um, you can't just go out there and call anybody that work, okay? But you have a, you know, a, a good communication and, you know, you, you are not tight with the person, but you're down to earth, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't mean any wrong, okay, it doesn't mean any wrong, so just to get that out of the way also, so he hugged me, thank you mommy for, for being worried about me, I'm okay, okay, I'm okay, okay, dad, say, say, you got me you got all these and everybody here worried. So, you know, he gave me a big hug. Thank you, mommy. You know, thank you, mommy, for, for being, you know, uh, worrying about me. And then you give somebody to notice, you know, just if you need and knock on my door. So, I came back. And he was still talking with the cops and one. And then they started, then, then they started leaving. And then I saw them writing stuff on, uh, in, on a paper and whatnot. And, um, I don't know what the heck happened, okay? I said, well, this is okay, and everything is okay, so I came, I brought this crazy kid back in here. It shut the heck up. Um, and, um, not, we just sat there and talked and watched, um, uh, videos on, uh, 
funny stuff and barber and stuff because he was a barber. And then he left. Once he knew I was fine, he left. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. But okay, well, I can't check on you. Now he wants to sell me the motorcycle either. <laughs> Guys, he wants to sell me a motorcycle. Go ahead, man. They almost broke. They, they almost took Ada, okay? Um, 360 degree on a stop sign. Can you imagine me getting another one? And he started laughing. He said, if I get it, I know you will ride that, that, that bad boy. Keep it over here. Do not bring it over here. No, he came. He came in a car. It's, um, his girlfriend's car. So, guys, just saying, we can never say it's not gonna happen here. If it did, are you prepared some kind of way? Some kind of way. For a situation, it doesn't have to be an SHTF situation. You know, you hear a lot of that. You hear a lot of that, right? Um, it could be anything. It could be some crazy dude, uh, like yesterday with the bows and arrows. God forbid that guy with bows and arrows would would be carrying some other shit, and something would have happened. Uh, and they have to lock the block and and search houses and all of this. But you know, like we see on TV. And you know what? A lot of stuff that's happening, it's on movies, on TV, on Netflix. Um, I don't know, guys, but I think watching too much of uh, that violent stuff is not good either. It's not good either. Okay, so keep an eye on the person next to you. Okay, keep an eye. Talk to the person you know. If you're watching TV. Watch out for those type of movies because you never know, guys. Um. We've already heard a lot of people with mental issues out there in the street. Damn you, they're watching a damn movie and you get some crazy ideas. So, look out for the person that's next to you. You can avoid a lot of stuff, okay? Yes, you can. Uh, you really think about it. So, do some thinking, do some research, and evaluate what I'm trying to stress out to y'all guys. Um, so is anyone prepared for any type of situation? Do you have one of those items that I posted a video? Do you have a water purifier if something happened with the water? Do you have any emergency, um, like the crank radio? They have them in all sizes and shapes and colors. Do you have, do you have a uh, CB radio, walkie-talkie, that you can communicate? Know what's going on? Because if you turn it on, you can, you can hear... You go to scan, and when it stops talking, it's going to give you information of different places. So you can get information on what's going around your surroundings, because those things work through satellites. Okay? They don't work through uh, any kind of connections. They work through satellites. So do you have a crank radio? That crank radio will charge my, my, my phone if, if I crank it hard enough. Okay? It's also USB uh, ch chargeable. Do, do you have any of that? Do you have any tea, can tea, tea candles or... Other accessories for lighting that's gonna last you uh, in a situation, not just a couple of minutes or one night. Okay, just just to make a video, uh, you might use some type of lighting. Okay, just to make a video. How long are your videos? Twenty minutes, thirty minutes, forty minutes, the most. If they go live, maybe an hour, an hour, some minutes. That's it. Um, are they battery powered? Do you have enough batteries? If a situation was to happen and you have to hunker down in your home base or whatever your home base may be, well, you know, I'm not going to specify on all, whatever it is, do you have what it takes to survive or get through in a small space? For a period of time, we never know what the situation can be. We can never think of the worst, but we have to prepare for it. So, a lot of people are blind to the prices out there, and they don't care because many shop with EBT. A lot of them are lazy asses and need to get up off their fucking ass and get a job, and they're young. Blame it on the kids. 
daycare, babysitter. Oh, I don't have that. Well, you should have thought about that shit before you open your legs. And pop the baby during the pandemic. To collect all those services where other people never quit their job and are working. And y'all sitting on your lazy asses. And y'all go shopping and, oh, they go shopping. I've seen them. I've seen them, y'all. Oh, they wearing all the gold and all the shit. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I don't care, guys, about this part of the video. That is the honest truth. Okay? That is the honest truth. That a lot of them are taking advantage of that system. But I'm glad that they have to reapply, okay, and requalify. But the elderly will not be affected. If you have a medical issue, you will be exempted from that situation, okay? Just so you know now. Take a deep breath. Because a lot of them out there, young, sitting on their asses, making videos too, and scaring the fuck out of the elderly and the seniors and the disabled. And there's young kids that are disabled. We can't say disabled, they're old. There are young kids that are disabled in one way or another. Or became disabled during the years or whatnot. These young kids, y'all know that. I'm not speaking any lies up in here. So, I'm glad that they have to reapply. And that chunk is going to be taken out and start from zero. Because there's a lot of people that never left their jobs. They are young too. Why don't they go to school, learn a trade, do something? You think about the future, your medical benefits for the future, retirement benefits, 401k, come on, wake the fuck up. Okay, if you have uh, youngins in that, wake him the heck up, shake him. You know, what are you thinking about the future? Okay, when you can't work, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Social Security ain't a whole lot of money. It's not a whole lot of money, guys. It's not. They could barely make it, guys. With these social service helps, they get more than a, a person on social security, the elder. Yes, they do. And they out there pimping the ride, okay? Pimping the shoes. Pimping the, the, the whatever, okay, oh yeah, they out there, showing that, okay, and making videos, well, it's time to find a job, because they all going to get some working papers, and a time frame, whatever they don't meet with the job, they, they'll make up for something, it's not like they're going to be all discontinued, but do something. Do something for society. I see a lot of young kids working. And then the ones that need to be working sitting on their asses. Okay. Well, anyway, guys. I'll catch you on my next video. But, like I said. And I'm sorry if it hurts anybody's butt. Okay? Y'all butt hurt with social service? Well, I'm sorry. People that are working again, but hurt because the more they work, the more taxes they, they got to pay to support a program. And then support our immigration system also. That's another other bullshit that I would like to talk about. Okay? That's 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 another shit. So I hope you understand guys, you know. And I'm sorry the way I express myself sometimes, but it's just me. That's, that's me. When things have to be said, it's pam, 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 wine, wine, wine. Okay? Spanish people say pam, 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 vino, vino. So that's me. And I'm from the East Coast. Okay? So what can I say, guys? Y'all understand what I'm saying, right, guys? I hope y'all do. I hope you analyze, study, do your research, and then come up with a plan. Come up with a plan, okay? And be safe. That's all. Sometimes we worry too much about others. And them others don't give a fuck about you. Friends, they say they friends. Be careful with your friends too. Who you call your friend. Because when you really need them, they ain't going to be there. They're going to be like, hey, they ain't going to be rather than Yeah. So, 
I met Miss Grandma. Let's go change over. Grandma for kids, Ruth, through another channel. I think she came from Joy Ralph's channel. That's my girl. I call her sis. Um, she, she's one of many Van Lifers subscribers. So if you're watching my channel right now, please go on to her page. Look her up in one of the, some comments, okay, if you tend to get around into that circle, you will find, okay, you will find Miss Ruth. She's a sweetheart. We keep communication for a very long time. Since she came, she started watching my channel when I started my channel. So she's one that started watching my channel from the beginning. She didn't find me now from the beginning. And I kind of got attached with her. I don't know her personally. Um, I haven't spoken on the phone with her. But there is a, there is a Gmail. Because I encourage her on, as a commenter, I encourage her because she always talk about when I did the prepping videos of food and stuff like that, she would comment on that. And through the comments, I got to know her. And she was giving me some prices of stuff. And now when the prices started hiking up, there was something else before that. It was an item I had purchased and she commented on maybe uh, something of my items. And uh, I looked her up on the Gmails. And that's how we started communicating. Not all the time, guys. Not all the time. I don't know mm, practically nothing about her. Okay? All I know is that uh, she, she has surgery too. My shoulder or something. Uh, and having... Um, um, some kind of therapy or something. But we communicate okay, on and off, yes. And that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. Okay. Um, it's not just a random anybody. It's not just a random anybody. Um, and I looked at my video from the puffy mug. Normally I get a whole lot of comments. Oh, well, I hope nobody got butt hurt because I met Gray Man was a commenter. He was not Gray Man. I pushed him to be Gray Man. Okay, he was a commenter. He was just a viewer. His name was not Gray Man. I know his name. His name is not Gray Man was not great man at the time. He's been watching me for a while. So don't y'all don't get butt hurt, okay? It's just a friend through the camera lens. Maybe one day we'll probably meet personally. Y'all will know because the camera will be out there, okay? Um but it's what many do. You meet up, okay? One day. That's it. It's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with sending anybody gifts because I send gifts to many of my subscribers that are van lifers, van lifers or not, or were viewers, and then open channels because I encourage them to want to get into it. Get your van, get your van, get your van. Well, you see, now he's a gray man. So, just so you know how I know gray man and how gray man knows me. Okay. So I sent lots of gifts down to the West Coast guys. Yep. So, but some people, they don't know how to be friends. They don't know how to be friends. There's a lot of men out there doing the bad life. Y'all not watching them. He's not the only one. I watch many of them. 
So y'all have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you on another video. I hope you understand. I hope I got something to click up in here to think about. Okay? Think about.